Williams from the corner. Oh, he can knock down threes, Kenny. Now he's going to go back door. Oh, what a feed. <laughs> feed to Ume, who goes up for the slam. Devin Lilly drives, pulls up, fires home a two. I'll tell you, man, you cannot underestimate the hustle this big man gives you. Strap in your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Basketball fans and welcome inside Chippewa Valley High School. I'm Brad Fires for Chippewa Valley Cable Television, a Mac Red matchup tonight between our Chippewa Valley Big Reds and the Lance Cruz North Crusaders. Chippewa coming in with a four and six record. LCM with a five and seven mark. Chippewa Valley coming off a huge victory in their last game against their arch rivals, the Dakota Cougars. Both of these teams come in with identical two and four records in Mac Red play. Jordan Wright and the rest of the Chippewa Valley Big Reds have won the opening tip. They'll have the very first possession of this basketball game. Wright hoists up a three, no good. Rebounded there by Drew Kozell, one of the tri-captains for head coach Zach Martin. Lance Cruz North making that coaching change to Zach Martin. We've got a lot of run the last couple of years at the JV level. First shot of the game for LCN by Caverly is no good. LCN committing the foul. Nope, they're going to have a Chippewa Valley travel instead. Jordan Wright on that far side took too many steps, so it'll be a turnover for the Big Reds. Basketball back over to the Crusaders. This LCN squad clad in their road black jerseys with gold numerals. Chippewa Valley in their traditional home uniforms. Block shot there by Justin Parker. No, they're going to get him for the foul. His first of the game, Lowry Whitney Going up with the shot, Parker committing the shooting foul, so it'll put the senior on the line to shoot a couple. This is a very young Lance Cruz North roster as Lowry Whitney makes the first. Only five seniors, including Lowry Whitney. Mainly a roster filled with juniors. Eight, in fact, on this Crusader roster. Isaiah Joliffe, he splits a couple defenders, able to hang and hit. He scores the very first points for Chippewa Valley, and they lead the basketball game now 2-1. to one. Caverly, one-hand shovel pass over to the right wing side. Ball comes at to the very top of the key. They try to dump it inside. It's going to be a steal. Try to go inside with the double team. Kalen Shaw picks up where he left off against the Dakota Cougars. Folks, he had 30 points in that victory over Dakota, including 23 in the second half. Big Reds with a 4-1 lead. Smooth move driving inside. 
able to fill it up there. Haverly with the points. This is an LCN team that won the first go round. As we got a steal there. Kalen Shaw losing the handle. Spin move into the lane. Good hesitation move by the captain, Adam Cook. And back and forth we go. LCN with the 5 4 advantage. We mentioned LCN as we got a reach and foul there against Caverly. His first, team first. It was a 44 40 victory on their home floor back on January 10th. And since then, it has been a struggle for Lance Cruz North. They have lost four straight since that victory over Chippewa Valley. LCN started out league play with a 2 0 record. Terrific pocket pass by Kalen Shaw. Parker unable to finish at the rim. LCN dodged a bit of a bullet there. Haverly goes to his left hand side. Scoop a shot. Bounces off the rim, unable to go down. Isaiah Joe Liffey comes down with a rebound. Quickly outlets to Shaw up ahead. A scoop and score by the big man, Jordan Wright. Entertaining brand of basketball through the early part of this first quarter. Both teams getting out in transition. Big Reds lead it 6-5. Low pass gathered. Couple of hesitation steps now flipped into the corner there for Caverly. Pull up jumper by Kozell, no good. Foul committed there by LCN. Their second team foul. Shaw directs traffic, flings a pass to a wide open Justin Parker, LCN. Applying a little three-quarter court pressure there. Got burned big time as Kalen Shaw picks up the assist. Into the post. The feed comes. They kick it right back outside. LCN. 4.35 left to go opening quarter of play. Tap back by Shaw once again. Comes away with the steal. Caverly. Shaw spins. Thought he might have been fouled, but the refs disagree. Basketball bounds out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover over to LCN. Chip ball with the three-point advantage. 4-10 left to go, opening quarter of play. Jordan Lewis fresh into the game for LCN. Triple team comes, able to pass out of it. Lewis hoist for three, no good. Tapped out of bounds. Last touch by the Crusaders. That was a good look for LCN, just unable to connect. Kalen Shaw, the five foot ten senior, walks it up into the front court. Shaw with the basketball in his left hand. Here comes the double team, and it's a turnover. He threw it right to Jordan Lewis. Going the other way, Drew Cazell unable to hit. And they kick it right back outside where LCN will reset. Blown opportunity there at the basket. Haverly turns the corner, floats up a shot, no good. Battle for that loose ball is controlled by LCN. And Caverly once again will connect. Too many second chance opportunities right now for LCN on the offensive end. Chippewa Valley going to have to clean that up as this game progresses. Luke Lindsay taking a seat in front of the scorer's table. He's getting ready to check back into this basketball game for the Crusaders. Pull up jumper off the front iron and then we got a foul. And they're going to call LCN for the violation. Gonna get Caverly for the foul. That's his second. So he's gonna have to check out of this basketball game. Luke Lindsay will in fact check in. Jordan Wright to toss it in. Goes up top. Shaw, 15 footer. 
And following up the miss with the make was Jordan Wright. Wright has four points. Four different big reds have scored in this basketball game. They lead it 10-7. Turning on the Jets, a little scoop. And counted and a foul. Luke Lindsay fresh into the basketball game, making his presence known. A terrific move to the basket. Went up, got harmed, and will look to finish off the old-fashioned three-point play. Zach Bazook checking in, replaces Justin Parker as Luke Lindsay unable to hit the free throw. 10 niner score, 225 left to go. Joe Liffey goes behind the back. Bazook has it in his right hand, hands off to Kalen Shaw. A little crossover dribble, unable to create separation from his defender. Goes over to the left wing side to Joe Liffey. Spins through the lane, hangs and hits. Terrific individual effort by the 6'1 senior Isaiah Joe Liffey. Joe Liffey was good in that game against Dakota as well as he scored 12 points in their victory. Luke Lindsay gets cut off. Bezuk applies a little pressure as he trapped Lindsay on that far side of the floor. Nearly turned him over, but the ball will stay with Lance Cruz North. Kalen Shaw going to take a seat. Evan Nabucci, the 5'8 junior, replaces him. Luke Lindsay holds the basketball high above his head. Goes over to Drew Kozell, one of those tri-captains for Lance Cruz North. Tremendous defense there by Chippewa Valley as they nearly come away with the steal. Now Lindsay trapped once again. Able to pass it over to Jordan Lewis. Kozell stepped through, no good. Refs allowing them to play on. Basketball comes all the way out. Three straight away. Bang! Adam Cook with the triple. Boy, oh boy. Tough defense. But LCN able to come up with the three. Tie ball game 12-12. Approaching one minute left to go here in the fourth. Joe Liffey. And he's fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. That was a tough trip down the floor for the Chippewa Valley defense. They thought they had numerous stops, thought they nearly had a steal. Basketball nearly came all the way out to center court where it was picked up by Adam Cook and he was able to knock down the three. First freebie for Joe Liffey is good. He's got a quick five in this basketball game. Jacob Davenport checking into the game for Lance Cruz North. His first action here tonight. Joe Liffey able to knock down both. And that lead for the Big Reds back up to two. 14-12, 55 seconds left to go in the first. High screen, nope, they're going to turn it down instead. That's Lucas Klein. A lot of height in this Lance Cruz North lineup. They can rotate a lot of guys in and out of the lineup. And a terrific steal there by Bayezouk. And now he has his pocket pick by Cook, who floats up a three off the back heel. No good. Luke Lindsay drives baseline, and he swatted. A huge block shot by Bayezouk. Out in transition, a three on one, a low pass out of the hands of Dabucci and out of bounds. Big Red sped up just a little bit too fast that time, and it resulted in a turnover. 15 seconds left to go. We'll see here if LCN wants to hold for one final shot. Very fast and furious first quarter of play. Not a lot of stoppage. Long range two off the side of the rim, just wide right. Out in transition once again, keeping the footwork, and they're gonna wave off the basket. They're gonna say the buzzer sounded as Petway was able to get off the shot, the referee's right there to call it off. And that will do it for the first quarter of play. Our Big Reds in front, 14-12. These are some facts about youth marijuana use from the National Institute on Drug Abuse and the Centers for Disease Control. The potency of marijuana has increased significantly over the years, making it a more addictive drug. One in 16s that use marijuana regularly can become addicted to it. 
Marijuana use can damage the developing teen brain, creating problems with learning, memory, attention, problem solving, and other functioning. Youth marijuana use is associated with many negative consequences, including poor school performance and school dropout, injury and death from car crashes, mental health issues, and less life satisfaction. For more information on youth marijuana use, visit drugabuse.gov and cdc.gov. Welcome back inside the Valley. Big Reds in front, 14-12. Lance Cruz North will have the opening possession of the second quarter. Luke Lindsay going to remain in the game at the point guard position for the Crusaders. Another near, near steal by the Chippewa Valley Big Red defense. Bezu going to stay in the game. Where is that number 14 jersey in white? Chippewa Valley remaining in that man-to-man -man defense. Terrific handoff as they found the cutting Luke Lindsay at the basket. And just like that, we're back up to a 14-14 tie. Kalen Shaw directing traffic from the point guard position. Hands off to Cameron Petway, who gives to Jordan Wright. Wright to Shaw. Straightaway three is good. Shaw's first three of the game gives him five. Luke Lindsay went behind the back with the dribble and nearly lost it. And then we got a foul there called against Kalen Shaw. Can't say enough good things about the effort of Kalen Shaw and that victory over the Dakota Cougars. He was absolutely on fire on the road as well. Spurred a huge comeback for the Big Reds as they trailed by eight points at halftime. Cougar lead swelled to double digits throughout the third quarter, and then Kalen Shaw took over the basketball game. A high dribble. Good control there by Koki. Quickly up the floor, Jordan Wright goes up strong with the right hand and able to connect. Jordan Wright with six points leads. The Big Reds in scoring here tonight. 19-16, six and a half minutes remaining in the first half. LCN denied entry into the post position, so they'll wing it around the perimeter. Kozell over to Lindsay on the far side. Lindsay begins to explore. Nothing there, so they'll kick it back out. Long range three, no good. Tough bounce off the rebound. Petway able to save it from going out of bounds. Tabucci into the corner for right three on the way. Knocks it down. Jordan Wright, the big man, stepping outside, and LCN wants a timeout. They're going to talk things over. Transition buckets big right now for the Big Reds. None bigger than that triple there by Jordan Wright in the corner. Big Reds lead it now by 6, 22, 16, 558 left to go in the second quarter. As we mentioned at the very top of tonight's broadcast, Chippewa Valley with a four and six record, two and four in Mac Red play, looking up at Gross Point South in the standings. The Blue Devils have gotten off to a perfect six and zero start in Mac Red play. Chippewa Valley in a tie, a log jam essentially in third place with Dakota. This LCM team and the Stevenson Titans, all four of those Mac Red teams with identical two and four records. Roseville Panthers at four and two, the lone team in second place. But as I mentioned, everybody looking up at Gross Point South. Not only is Gross Point South off to that perfect six and zero start to Mac Red play, they are a very good ten and three overall. So LCN coming out of that full timeout. Trail by six. There's the entry into the post position. Count it and the foul. Koki got loose down low. Was able to spin up a shot and got hacked in the process and will go to the line. LCN trying to utilize that size. So far the Big Reds have really done a nice job 
of limiting their looks down low. Koki able to knock down the free throw. Three-point play is good. Koki with five points here in the second quarter, keeping LCN in it. Straightaway three is short. Rebounded by Joe Liffey, able to cut through and finish. Joe Liffey, the bright spot so far for the Big Reds here tonight on their home floor with eight points. Cross court pass, triple try from the corner is pure, nothing but net. Good ball fake, looking for the answer, Joe Liffey in and out. Rebounded by Kozell. Step through and a travel. Took too many steps. Perhaps just a slight hesitation. And it's a turnover for LCN. Bazook getting ready to check back in for Chippewa Valley. Valuable six man. Give the Big Reds quite the lift, I thought, in that second half of that game against Dakota. Joe Liffey tries to spin through. Foul call there on Davenport. We'll send Joe Liffey back to the line where he is a perfect two for two on the night. Get the sense that this has the makings of a classic back and forth Mac Red game. Joe Liffey's first rims out. Bazook will come into the game. Joe Liffey hoists and hits. 25-22, Big Reds in front on their home floor. This Chippewa Valley team hasn't played many games here in the Valley. Just three games, this is their fourth. They come in with a home record of two and one on the season. And Chippewa Valley defense kind of sagged a little bit, allowing Lowry Whitney to make the shot. Joe Liffey. Spins, Bazook three on its way, short. Joe Liffey rips down the offensive rebound. Shake and bake, spin move. Left it short, got his own rebound. Goes back up with it, too strong. And finally tapped out by LCN. Plenty of opportunities there for Joe Liffey, unable to cash in, however. And then a little nickel and dimer called. On to Bucci. Just kind of reached out, preventing his man from going by. Roger Silvestro in for LCN to trigger. Leaves it for Cook. Cook has it now. Spins. Picks up his dribble. Floats one up and hits. 15-footer is good, and LCN now has captured the one-point lead. They trailed by six, but have worked themselves back into this basketball game. Joe Liffey asks for it on the post, doesn't get it. Now takes his spot out on the left wing. Draws a little contact. Bazook three, short. Off the front iron, refused to go. And it's Silvestro that comes down with the rebound. LCN now. Looking to build on this one-point lead. 2.40 remaining in the second quarter. Bounce pass inside to Lowry Whitney. He works around his man, goes up with the right hand, no good. Kind of pinballs around. It's finally knocked out of bounds, last touched by the Crusaders. Tabucci out. Jordan Wright back in for head coach Corey Smith. Elin Shaw walks it up to the front court. Shaw goes to the left wing side, now picks up his dribble. 
Floats a pass over to Joe Liffey. Joe Liffey hands off to Shaw. They call him Cash. He was cash money in that win over to Dakota a couple nights ago. Solid drive. Jump ball is going to be the call as they tied up in the paint. Possession arrow favors the Big Reds. Jordan Wright will inbound from below his basket. Looks for Joe Liffey, finds him. A little give and go as they tried to get the basketball back to Joe Liffey on the baseline. Fortunately for the Big Reds, they'll be able to reset. Joe Liffey, Shaw, Wright, Bezuk, and Petway. The five on the floor right now for Chippewa Valley. Under two minutes left. Jordan Wright hoists up a three, no good. Lewis able to wipe it down. Hozell. A good steal by Petway. Numbers now for the Big Reds. A three on one. Petway over to Bezuk. Goes up with the left hand, and it's good. Turnovers, the story thus far. Leading to easy points for the Big Reds. Back in front is Chippewa Valley, 27 26. Dangerous dribble. And they're going to get Chippewa Valley for the reach in. Koki. Trying to back down his defender. Had the basketball awfully high via that dribble. Chippewa Valley nearly came away with the steal, but instead get called for the foul. The possession will stay with LCN. They inbound. Long range two is good. Nothing but net there. Smooth stroke for Drew Kozell. This second quarter has featured plenty of lead changes. And now we got a baseline violation there. So a very costly turnover for Chippewa Valley. Gives the basketball right back to LCN. And now a loose ball foul committed by Drew Kozell. So the Big Reds. Avoiding a disaster. Can't give the Crusaders free points. Dabuchi back in the game at the point guard position will give Kalen Shaw a much needed rest. Petway cradles the basketball. Ooh, might have gotten away with a little bit of a travel there. And Bazook's shot was blocked. LCN with now under a minute left to go in the first half. Three on its way, no good. Tough luck miss off the front iron. Jordan Wright with a tremendous save. And now a foul call. Chippewa Valley in the bonus. So that foul will put Bazook on the line for a one and one. The southpaw makes the first, earns a second. And Bazook, a perfect two for two on that trip. Gives the Big Reds the advantage once again, 29-28. Half a minute remaining now in the first half. Oh, Adam Cook, too many dribbles. And now a tie up on the loose ball. Joe Liffey with that tremendous defense. He gets up, claps his hands. Quick substitution into the game. Luke Lindsay checks out. Lowry Whitney back into the game. And it'll be Davenport to inbound. Cook. A tenacious defense by Joe Liffey. Cook into the corner. Another tough dribble. Kick it outside. Oh boy, it's stolen. Look out. Jordan Wright with the lay in. 
Thought he might go up for the jam. Instead, he wisely finger rolls it in. LCN's going to have to quickly get up a shot. They will. It falls short. And that will do it. A very exciting first half of play. Our Chippewa Valley Big Reds with the three-point advantage, 31-28, as both teams head into their locker rooms for the intermission. We'll take a break here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. But when we come back, it'll be the start of the second half of play. This is a message to raise awareness of the dangers of youth use of alcohol and other drugs. These are some facts about youth prescription opioid medication misuse from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Teen abuse of prescription opioid medications has declined steadily over past years. However, young adults, 18 to 24, are the largest group abusing prescription medication, including opioids, medications prescribed for ADHD, and anti-anxiety medication. Those that abuse prescription opioids are at greater risk of becoming addicted, of negative life and health consequences, of overdose, and death. Prescription opioids are chemically related to heroin. Nearly 80% of people addicted to heroin started first by abusing opioid medications. Teens that misuse prescription medication get it from their friends, from unsecured medication at their home, or from the home of a relative. Lock up, properly dispose, and never share medication. For more information on the abuse of opioid medication, visit drugabuse.gov. And we are back, Chippewa Valley High School. I'm Brad Fetters for Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Mac Red action tonight between our Chippewa Valley Big Reds and the Lance Cruz North Crusaders. Chippewa Valley with the 31-28 lead. Kalen Shaw directing traffic. Gives to right, goes back up top to Shaw. Works his way around a screen. They kick it back out to him. Jordan Wright was the answer. In the first half for Chippewa Valley, there's a tremendous drive by Isaiah Joe Lippy. Jordan Wright leading all scores with 11 points in that first half. Joe Lippy has now tied him with 11 points. Pass tapped out of bounds as Caverly was looking for the back door cut. Instead, Chippewa Valley with the tap away. It'll stay with the Crusaders here. They look to inbound. They'll flip the pass up top to Koki. And out of bounds. Turnover there for the Crusaders. Basketball back over to Chippewa Valley. Shaw now between the circles. Being guarded by a much taller defender in Adam Cook. Over to Petway, right 15-footer, in and out. Offensive rebound, picked up by Parker, but lost. Crusaders quickly up the floor. They'll pull up. Caverly slammed on the brakes. Twisting, turning, and the wave off the basket. Say the foul occurred before the shot. Foul occurred on the floor. Chippewa Valley's first team foul of this half. 6.45 left to go in the third. Dangerous pass. Cook went up and retrieved it. Cook to get it down low now. And a big bucket there by Koki. Koki with seven in the game. Six different scorers for the Crusaders tonight. That is a tremendous drive there by Shaw. So Chippewa Valley coming up with the answers. Anytime LCN has scored, the Big Reds have answered right back. Double team comes, pass out of it, feed down low. A little runner on the turnaround by Caverly. He's got nine now. Joel Liffey to right. 
A little three out look here for Chippewa Valley. Petway holds the basketball high. Jab step by Joe Liffey. Gives it right back to Petway. Down low, right around a defender and one. Oh boy, what a move by Jordan Wright. Spins down the baseline. Goes up strong, gets the foul, and will go to the line. A tremendous individual effort on that low block by Jordan Wright. And he'll finish the old fashioned three point play. Gives him three now in the corner. Gives him 14 in the basketball game. Lead all the way up to six points. Straight away three, LCN needs that, no good. Long rebound out to Parker. Lost control of the dribble. And hanging, but unable to hit. Gets his own rebound and goes up strong. Lowry Whitney for the Crusaders. Shaw over to Joe Liffey. Thought about a drive instead. Kicks it back out right to Parker. Straight away three, no good. And now a foul committed there by the Big Reds. Exactly 444 left to go here in the third. It's a four point lead for the Big Reds, 38-34. Caverly in front of his visitor's bench. Finds the cutting Cook, who goes up and nails it. So that big red six point advantage nearly wiped away here by LCN. Joe Liffey was a streaking. Chippewa Valley player, but LCN able to be active on the defensive end. They knock it out of bounds, so it'll stay with Chippewa Valley. Kalen Shaw to trigger, holds the basketball high above his head. Finally finds Jordan right at the top of the key. He'll defer now back to Kalen Shaw. Joe Liffey's going to drive baseline. Able to step around the defender. I don't know how he did it, but he did. A little bit of a circus shot there on the baseline. And coming up with the near answer was Caverly. And now a foul committed in frustration, perhaps, by Koki. What a drive by Joe Liffey. He has been phenomenal in this basketball game. 13 points. He's got support in the form of Jordan Wright with 14. They have 27 of the Big Reds, 40 points here tonight. Shaw, a dangerous pass into trouble. Joe Liffey able to scoop it up. So they're going to count that point. Wasn't sure if the foul was in the act of shooting, but they will count the foul and the bucket there for Joe Liffey. And Joe Liffey makes the and one. The big red lead back up now to seven points. Largest lead of the second half. Dangerous time in this basketball game right now for the Crusaders. The post feed knocked away by Chippewa Valley. It has been a, uh, it has been a struggle on the road for this LCN squad. So they come into play tonight with a 0-4 record away from their home gymnasium. Cook with the crossover, back out top. 
see they're trying to get it down low to Koki. It just hasn't been there tonight. Man-to-man -man defense for Chippewa Valley here tonight has been phenomenal. And finally the answer there on the runner by Koki. Chippewa Valley quickly up to the front court. Shaw will slow things down now. Beautiful crossover dribble. He's trying to find Petway. Instead, LCN comes away with the turnover. Putting on the Jets. Haverly, straightaway three. Off the back iron and out of bounds. And they will say Big Red basketball. Two twenty-six left to go, third quarter of play. Shaw with the crossover, floats one up, can't get it to go. Kozell splits a couple defenders, that's a long range two, in and out. Ripped down by Joe Liffey. Quickly up ahead on that left wing side. Leaves it for Jordan Wright. Came in trailing. Bezuk now goes up. Oh, boy. He is quickly becoming a factor offensively for the Chippewa Valley Big Reds. A terrific six man. And a foul up there and a harm. Foul call. Going to go against the Big Reds. Bucci at the scorer's table getting ready to check in. Drew Kozell going to go to the line to shoot a pair. Makes the first. Jacob Davenport. The sub into the game for LCN replaces Adam Cook. Drew Kozell, the junior captain, able to knock down both as we get a timeout on the floor. A minute 40 now left to go in the third quarter. Well, we mentioned LCN coming in, losers of four straight. Their upcoming games next week will occur on Wednesday, February 1st. As they'll take on Dakota at home before going on the road to take on Mac Red leaders, Gross Point South, on Friday, February 3rd. And then the following week, They'll wrap up Mac Red play. Hard to believe that the Mac Red season's nearly over. LCN will finish up Mac Red play at home against Roseville on February 7th. And then a Mac OAA crossover game will take place between LCN and Bloomfield Hills on February 10th. So that's the upcoming schedule for the LCN Crusaders. So out of the timeout, Chippewa Valley with the four-point lead. Under a minute and a half left to go now in the third quarter. Joe Liffey in the paint. Near steal there for Chippewa Valley. Check that LCN. And then the Crusaders knock it out of bounds. Junior Lucas Klein into the game. And now another timeout called. And gave you LCN's upcoming schedule. Let's take a look at what the Big Reds have coming up. They too will play that Wednesday, Friday schedule next week. Wednesday it'll be a home game against Gross Point South. So Big Reds will look to upend the conference leaders. And then Friday of next week they will go on the road to take on the Panthers of Roseville before wrapping up Mac Red play against Sterling Heights Stevenson on February 7th. 
then a little Mac crossover game with Utica on February 10th. If I'm not mistaken, that Utica game will be seen right here on CBC TV. And then Chippewa Valley, might as well mention this game as well. We'll have a home game on Valentine's Day. Well, it's a ways away, but that's going to be a good one against De La Salle, a perennial power in boys' high school basketball. So out of the timeout, Crusaders come away with the steal. Costly turnover there for the Big Reds. Approaching one minute to go here in the third quarter. Little wee for LCN offensively. The entry into the low block and an easy bucket there for Connor Koki. He has 11 in the basketball game. As LCN once again within a possession. Trail just now 45-42. Big Reds have had a lead as much as seven points here in this third quarter, but LCN just keeps chipping away. Joe left, Joe Liffey right wing side, fakes the pass. Petway now picks up the dribble. Dabuchi, as it appears, Chippewa Valley will look to just close out this third quarter with one final possession. Instead, Joe Liffey goes up strong, left side, no good. LCN with an opportunity to tie. Corner three is no good. As Davenport unable to hit. Oh boy, Big Reds dodged one there. They will take a three point lead into the fourth, 45-42. As we will take a break here on Chippewa Valley Cable. But when we come back, it'll be the start of the fourth quarter of play. These are some facts about youth alcohol use. While the good news is that underage drinking has declined over the years, rates of youth alcohol use are still high. 30% of 12th graders in the United States reported drinking in the past month. Alcohol use by teens frequently involves binge drinking. Regular alcohol use can damage the developing teen brain, creating problems with learning, memory, and processing information. Youth alcohol use is associated with other negative consequences, including poor school performance, injury and death from car crashes, suicide, mental health issues, and use of other drugs. The majority of those diagnosed with an alcohol use disorder in adulthood began drinking by the age of 18. Well, no real surprise, the highly contested Mac Red game here tonight. A close one, 45-42. Chippewa Valley in front of Lance Cruz North. I'm Brad Fetters for Chippewa Valley Cable Television, welcoming you back, start of the fourth quarter of play. It'll be Crusader ball. It's been a highly entertaining brand of basketball here tonight. As both teams have traded jabs throughout. Largest lead of the night has belonged to Chippewa Valley. It was seven points. Oh, midway through that third, terrific inbound play. As Koki is able to fill it up. He's got 13. He has been phenomenal here. Senior co-captain, but who has been even better, perhaps, has been Jordan Wright. As he has 16 now in this basketball game. Three on its way is good. Jacob Davenport off the bench. Don't look now, but we got ourselves a tie ball game. 47-47, 7.07 left to go in regulation. And this, perhaps, is when Kalen Shaw is going to take over. He was able to put the basketball team on his back against Dakota. When it comes to crunch time, he delivers. And a good move through the lane. Kozell draws contact and will go to the line to shoot two. The thing that impresses me most about Kalen Shaw is there is no hesitation 
to his game. When he has his mindset on driving the bucket, nine times out of the ten, he gets there. And he was able to fill it up on that last trip down the floor. Ozell knocks down the first, misses the second. Jordan Wright comes away with the defensive rebound. Over to Shaw. Cross-court pass, three on the way. Petway is good! That's a big triple as it extends the big red lead back up to four. And Zach Martin, LCN head coach, going to want a timeout to talk things over as he wants to stop this big red momentum. LCN came out firing here in the fourth, but the Big Reds have had an answer. Chippewa Valley really rounding into form. Prior to that win over Dakota, they had lost four straight. But a lot of those games were close, highly contested games. They had the four-point loss to this LCN team. We're in a battle throughout against Roseville. Dropped a nine-point loss to Stevenson on the road. But really showed some things against Dakota. And you wonder if a win against your arch rival is the thing that could turn this season around. Win here tonight would make it two straight. Pass to the outside. Trying to drive baseline. Lindsay instead works around a defender. Luke Lindsay, the junior, has been good tonight in that backup point guard role. 52-50. Shaw lost the handle. They'll say it was tapped out of bounds by LCN, so it'll stay with Chippewa Valley. Shaw this time takes the pass in the backcourt. Between the circles, picks up his dribble, gets some help in the form of Evan DeBucci. Five foot eight, junior. Being guarded by Lindsay. LCN extends the defense all the way out now on Kalen Shaw. The little blow by, but can't finish at the rim. Baseball pass up ahead to Lindsay. He had it stolen. To Bucci, left wing side, up ahead to Petway, who fired a pass right into the midsection of Adam Cook. So the team's trading some turnovers. Very frantic pace of play now. As to Bucci comes away with the defensive rebound. They're going to say Debucci stepped on the sideline. So another turnover there for the Big Reds. They're beginning to pile up for Chippewa Valley. Lindsay feed down low, and a block shot by Jordan Wright. Wright has had a very active night on the defensive end. Comes away with a clean block shot there. Cook pivots, kicks it out to Lindsay's three, no good. And it's Dabucci, one of the smallest guys on the floor for the Big Reds, that comes away with the defensive rebound. Right up ahead. Joe Liffey hangs and hits. Joe Liffey has been phenomenal. 18 points for the six foot one senior. Nine points in the first half, nine points in the second half. And now another steal for the Big Reds. Joe Liffey tapped out of bounds. Good play to get back there by Adam Cook. Now a foul called away from the basketball. Davenport held up to Bucci long enough for the referee to spot the foul.
Joe Liffey gets himself free. Goes up. Can't get it to fall. Tough luck miss for Joe Liffey there. LCN now breaking out. Cook goes back. Three on its way short. Long shot equals a long rebound out to Joe Liffey. And he's going to pull up and he'll set the offense. As the Big Reds will look to slow things down with under four now left to play in regulation. Here comes the trap, the double team right in front of head coach Corey Smith who looks over at the referee and asks for timeout and will be granted just that. It'll be a 30 second timeout, so it'll be a short one. Other games being played tonight in the MAC Red. Stevenson on the road against Gross Point South. The other game that was supposed to be played tonight was Dakota at Roseville. But that game has been postponed due to the weather. We weren't sure this game was going to be played here tonight. Chippewa Valley did cancel school. Road conditions were good enough the game to take place. And it's been a good one. Our Big Reds in front, 54-50. Coming out of that 30-second timeout, Kalen Shaw directing traffic. Petway on the far side goes back to Shaw. Big Reds in no hurry now offensively with that four-point lead. Shaw. Turns it over, ill-advised pass there to Davenport. He's a little out of control. He drew a triple team, and he threw that pass right to Davenport of LCN. Low post feed into the hands of Connor Koki, and he's able to lay it in. Terrific battle tonight, LCN has worked themselves back into this basketball game throughout. Big Reds just have been unable to extend the lead at times due to turnovers. Kabuchi, it's tough operating on that far side. Nearly a steal. Here comes some tenacious defense now in LCN will come away with the steal. Good ball fake, three on its way short. Offensive rebound controlled by LCN going up strong and getting it to go, Adam Cook. Boy, oh boy, Big Reds need a timeout as we have ourselves a tie game, 54-54. Tough offensive possession there as Evan Dabucci was trapped on that far sideline was able to regather all the way in the backcourt. Then two LCN defenders came out. They came away with the steal. And it led to some easy points for LCN. Full timeout on the floor, 54-54, 2.25 left to go in regulation. Well, if you missed any portion of this game or perhaps just want to re-watch it, you can do just that. Make sure you go to the Chippewa Valley Cable Sports YouTube channel. All of our past program on there as well. You hit the subscribe button, you get email notifications of when all of our programming is available to you on CVC TV. A few more basketball games, boys and girls left to go this season. We have officially hit the home stretch here. And that Mac crossover tournament for both of these teams. And a wind down the regular season. Shaw picks up the dribble. Able to bounce a pass inside to Jordan Wright. Goes up strong. Count it and the foul. How good has Jordan Wright been here tonight? 
18 points, looking to make it 19, is given the big reds the advantage right back. The three-point play gives Chippewa Valley the three-point lead, 57-54, 2.08 left to go in regulation. Pass down low, running out of real estate, but able to save it. Kozell kind of caught that pass falling towards the baseline and wisely threw it off of a defender and out of bounds. So it'll stay with the Crusaders. Caverly will throw things in for LCN. Kozell. Up top to Cook. Cook tries to turn the corner, pulls up. Baseline cut made by Kozell. Out of bounds, last touch by Kozell. So a defensive stand there for the Big Reds. And now, after the turnover, LCN will extend some full court pressure as Connor Koki will defend the inbound pass. It's a tough one. And Shaw able to get it to Petway. And Joe Liffey able to hang and hit. That's how you beat the full court pressure. 59-54, minute and a half left to go. Baseline drive. And a defensive foul committed by Chippewa Valley. Well, going to live and die by that full court pressure and Big Reds able to beat it well. And now they're going to get an offensive foul. They're going to call Drew Kozell for clearing out space underneath the bucket. Looked like Cameron Petway went down as the defender. And they're going to get Drew Kozell for the offensive foul. Oh, boy, that's a big call there. An empty offensive possession for LCN gives the basketball right back to the Big Reds who will slow things down. Smart play by Chippewa Valley, and now LCN's going to try to commit a foul. Bezouk takes a little shot to the face. LCN trying to extend this game. Chippewa Valley in the bonus, so this will be a one and one Bazook gets a little bit of reassurance. A little bit of a pep talk there by Joe Liffey. And he knocks down the first. Oh, boy, is that a big free throw. That is a big free throw. The first half of a one and one not only earns Bazook a second freebie, but gives the Big Reds the six and now make it seven point lead. Repossession game, LCN's going to take a timeout. They're going to want to talk things over. Clutch free throws there by the sophomore. Bazook, we talked about it, really has been rounding into form. He was good in that Dakota game. He's one of the six men, one of those key reserves off the bench for head coach Corey Smith. Came away with some big defensive plays, able to knock down some clutch free throws in that game. And has been a perfect four for four at the line here tonight, but none bigger than those last two. Because it gives the Big Reds a seven point lead and makes this game a three possession game. Now, if you're LCN, you don't necessarily need a three, but you need points and you need them quickly. Then they'll apply a little bit of pressure. If they're able to come away with a bucket, apply some pressure on the inbounds pass, and we'll just look to extend this game for as long as they can. One would think Chippewa Valley's going to have to come up with some free throws along the way. But it's a very comfortable position right now for Chippewa Valley as they look to pick up their fifth win of the season. Caverly. Walks it up to the front court. 
Pass down low. Turn around jumper is blocked. Jordan Wright and Adrian Kuznicki. Kuznicki into the game in a defensive role. The junior listed on our roster at six foot six. And they're gonna say last touch by LCN. So it'll be big red basketball with under a minute now left to go in regulation. And it's an intercept on the inbound pass. Oh boy, not with the big reds needed there. But the shot comes up short. It's an air ball. And now a foul in the backcourt will send Joe Lippy to the free throw line. Opportunities there for LCN. They come up empty. They had a shot altered. They come away with the steal on the inbound pass. But can't get the shot to fall. And now they'll put Joe Liffey back to the free throw line. Front half of the one and one is good. Joe Liffey five for six at the line here tonight. Lead all the way up to nine points now for the Big Red. 63-54. 50 seconds left to go in the fourth. LCN needs some points here. Three on the way, in and out. Tap back up and secured via the putback. Caverly able to knock it down. And LCN will quickly take a timeout, a 30-second timeout with 40 seconds left in the basketball game. Well, Jordan Wright, phenomenal here tonight with 19 points. Joe Liffey has been good as well. 22 points for the six foot one senior. Clutch here in the second half. 13 of those 22 in the second half for Joe Liffey. Sixty-three fifty-six. Big Reds finally break their huddle. Gonna have to go the length of the floor. It'll be Debucci to inbound. Able to run the baseline because of the LCN make. Bezuk's going to get fouled. Already mentioned he is perfect four for four at the line here tonight. Chippewa Valley's not even going to put anybody in the lane for these free throws. Clutch once again. Zachary Bazook. Phenomenal once again. This time he misses short. LCN down eight. Baseline drive. Little flip up, no good. Ball bounces around right up ahead. To Kalen Shaw, who will put the finishing touches. Oh, no, he blew it. He blew the easy lay-in. And now Bazook over to Shaw, a little up and under, made up for it. Well, a pretty play there. LCN under five seconds remaining, three on its way. No good. And that will do it. Chippewa Valley, a very impressive win here tonight on their home floor as they eventually run away with it. Some clutch free throws down the stretch. Phenomenal play out of Isaiah Joe Liffey and Jordan Wright here tonight as our Big Reds win it 66-56. They improve to five and six, three and four in Mac Red play. LCN falls to five and eight, two and five in Mac Red play. Well, that'll do it for tonight's coverage here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Once again, your final score from the Valley, our Big Red 66, the Lance Cruz North Crusaders 56. 
Thank you so much for watching the CVC TV production. We'll see you next time.